it should be there for you. So let's see, let me try one more time. Let's see, sending it again. I'm super excited for all of this as you guys are hopping on here. Um, just really excited to share. And chat. Honey, honey, oh, honey. How are you? Thanks for coming on. You were dissing your mother while I was trying to get on. I'm sitting here going, oh my gosh. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Let me in. <laughs> you wouldn't do such a thing like that. No, of course I wouldn't. That would. That's the last thing that I would ever do, Mom. I was saying uh, <laughs> that. I was putting my um, makeup on. Right. But why is well, it so you dark? did say that you had to do that. You why is it suddenly great. so dark? It wasn't as dark before. Hey, everybody who's hopping on. I don't know. Let's see um, the light on you. I mean, I don't know. Let's take a peek. I have my dark filter on. Can you on. see? Oh, you have your dark filter on. That's why. See, you can you can definitely tweak that filter a little bit. And uh, just Wait, for everyone who's hopping on. I can touch it? On. Oh, yeah, please. Um, <laughs> no, Wait. Problem. no, the filter. Wait. Yes. Hold on. Um, the sparkly life. face in the room. Hi, everyone who's joining. Thanks so much for hopping on as well. Um, we're just getting a couple of things going real quick. Um, <laughs> I'm learning how to use Instagram Live, but Sky, I have to ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By Seriously, all means. I look like I'm in shadow and you have all the beautiful light. Is that okay? I mean, that's. I, I, <laughs> do I? Um, I do want I, you to look amazing always, Mom. But um, do I look so, like I'm in a shadow or is it just a funky thing for my phone? It might look a little bit like a shadow. So you see the the circle with kind of the sparkles on it on the bottom right mm -hmm. of your screen. See, don't you just love having a mother son moment right now? <laughs> I don't <laughs> see. I might turn this turn this off. Kai wants you to be in their live video. Thank you for that pop up. Yeah, <laughs> just I do want drive. you to be in my live video. Wait, Perfect. So just in time. Going? Bottom so, bottom of your screen. My son, says, Kai Gaines, is going to show me, bottom of my screen, I see a question mark, and I see a paper airplane. <laughs> okay, above <laughs> above that a little bit. Um, do you see the, see the space, the smiley, kind of like the smiley faces you draw on the cards, the, the Christmas cards, and it has the sparkles in it, like the little yes, stars Yes, I do. It. I see the Click essence is there, too, from Kindle Journeys is there. Okay, hold on. I hit oh. the, sparkle, the sparkle face. Yes, hit the sparkle face. Okay. And Perfect. what's going to happen? Am I going to get a dog licking my face? No, probably not, but you should get some options if you want to change the oh, options okay. that are there for you. So you can filter through. Why not? Let's have some fun. Here, I'll throw on. Let's see. What can I do? Is that I better? Have one with... Oh, yeah. There you go. That is. See, I have a B one. What do you think about my B? I don't like you. You don't like my filter. B? Okay. Ooh, oh, yuck. Let's see if I get some work that. done. I'm don't. probably not going to get work done. <laughs> okay, Kai. Kai. Did my yes. filter get better or is I'm still in the shadow? It did actually. Does everyone, everyone can see mom. Give us uh, some hearts if you can see mom. You can see her well. She looks, you look beautiful mom. I think you look great. I'm in a shadow. I feel like if I go lower, I'll get in the darker part of my frame. <laughs> They're beautiful right there. Perfect. It's weird. Um, What's going on with this? Okay, hold on. Let me get on a higher pedestal. Oh, look at that. Elevated. Hi, everybody. Ah, uh, Sensei Dawn, oh my gosh. Oh, ah, so many memories and Dawn. stories coming back to my mind. Um, I actually have, this is for another time, but you can see my Gichin Funakoshi plaque right behind from uh, when I got my black belt. Uh, long story. Um, but that definitely came from that. So thank you for that journey and that whole experience. Um, hi to everybody who's hopping on here right now. And uh, just to kind of fill you in a little bit if you're just seeing this and um wanting to kind of be involved but also not entirely knowing what's going on mom and i we're going to chat <laughs> like for a little me. bit a little bit back and forth yeah exactly we're, we're learning this just as much as you are um and just having having a blast with it but at the same time um we are going to do a q a at some point right mom um maybe a bit of a rapid fire yeah and, we have uh, a lot of we asked on our stories or i did on my story last night because i don't know what i'm doing on instagram and i'm humbled and anyway i asked i found there was a little option to ask people questions or have people ask us questions and there's a lot of questions kai did you get over so the many. last 500 questions <laughs> <laughs> there's there's a lot so we're going to filter through some of them we'll try and get through you know a number of them and make sure that we can uh touch base on on as many as possible in the time that we do have um yeah. and you know i think probably for for myself mom also too um 
I think one of my first questions that I that I have for you is just to to even begin this that I don't know that I've ever asked this. Um, so I'm gonna start with a question. Is that okay? Can I? I can, I, can I ask? You're not gonna embarrass your mother, are you? Because <laughs> you know. No, no. I don't know the filter can come never. to blushing. Okay, go ahead. I, it's not doing very well for me, but no, <laughs> I, I, I want to hear about like getting, for you, getting into acting and that experience because, I mean, I have, I have my own experience and a lot of it had to do with growing up around the industry and seeing everything that, that you did and, mm -hmm. and also the lifestyle, which we can get into, but I would love to hear for you, what was, you know, what was kind of what got you into acting? What made you want to pursue it? you know, and, and we can start there. How I got into acting in the first place. Yeah, was, yeah. Was I don't know that your, I've ever asked that. Your Auntie Margie and Auntie Judy's dad used to say, whenever I'd come into the room because I was so incredibly shy, he would say, here she comes, little Janie Cybot, even though my name was Sibbet, obviously. Little Janie Cybot, star of stage, screen, radio, and television. And of course, I'd blush 500 shades of red. Right. Um, but there was something in that that stuck and always playing dress up. But really what happened, Kai, was I was so incredibly shy. You know, Grandma, she's just vaunt. Mm. She's socially just as, you know, debutante for life. And I yep. was the shy one. And so I felt really um, scared to be out in the world. So I was, when I went to Catholic school, I was... really 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 good and so I like that more and more and so when I asked grandma if it would be okay if I went to UCLA to try and see if I could be an actress she said go for it and so I was blessed I went to UCLA I was blessed with some really amazing mentors Jenny Penny Roundtree and then I that's that's do you want to hear how I got my first job no yes you? absolutely I would an love angel. to and I know what your first job is I would love to hear about it, though, for sure, because I, I don't know that I've also ever heard that. You? Story, so. You know my first job? I, my first job I ever mean, on my first should... regular gig. Oh, your first regular gig is Santa Barbara, if, if I'm not Santa mistaken, Barbara. right? Yeah, okay, cool. So I, the soap opera. Put me on the, on the hot seat for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, like, hi, mom trivia. We could check that off the list. I know at least a little bit about, you know. Um, but I'm questioning everything after the jelly beans. I got to be honest. I don't know. <laughs> that's one of my questions for you is hi, about you the jelly beans. Tell them why you were talking you question after the jelly beans? <laughs> I mean, yes. And I know we've had a couple of people hop on here. The people come in and out all the time. So um, are you? as we talk. Yeah. So, What's your name? I'm, my name's Kai. Um, Kai what? I am. A Kai, Kai Gaines, if, uh, if you know me really well. Um, and I am the son of this incredible, lovely woman here. That would be my mom, Jane. Mm -hmm. Carol, also from Friends. But, um, you know, just in the spirit, too, of, of Pride Month and, um, you know, everything that's going on, the Friends reunion, um, we thought it'd be really fun to do a live um, video here on Instagram. And then we're going to share out to other platforms as well. If you can't catch this one, we're sharing it out as well. Um, and just do some Q&A, do some conversation, talk about the reunion, talk about pride, talk about the influence that friends had. Um, but something that not a lot of people know, probably, I mean, very few people know, is when I was little, growing up with my mom playing friends, she would come home with large, like large jars of jelly beans. And, and correct me if I'm wrong here, mom, but one of the things that I was told is that as a, a young boy, and I was, yeah, I was four, five, six, seven, eight, throughout this time frame is that part of my mom's paycheck came in jelly beans. That was part of the paycheck. That was part of the contract, right? That was, is that, that that's correct. Okay. I was, um, I was paid in jelly beans and flowers. I, I, didn't beans tell and you, flowers. I, I never told you about money. It was, yeah, I just paid, I was oh, paid in jelly beans and, and I got that's, some flowers, but I didn't bring the flowers home. I just kept them at the set. But. Kept them on set in the trailer, of course. <laughs> and I was enamored with this idea. Um, <laughs> And I, I mean, up until I found out that you got paid in jelly beans to be an actor, uh, I wanted to be a doctor. And so I was, you know, I was there for, for being a doctor the whole time. You know, I wanted to be a surgeon. And then as soon as I found out that you got paid in jelly beans, it was acting from then on out. <laughs> <laughs> it is. 
didn't know that, honey. And you know, it was so sweet. I was so incredibly touched when you invited me to the, the Friends uh, red carpet pre-reunion, Friends pre-reunion. How did you, what did you, the actual title was? The, the digital red carpet that we did for the Friends reunion, yeah. Yes, and Kai put in my room, my dressing room, flowers and jelly beans. So, <laughs> it, was like, it just makes me cry, guys. <laughs> Remember this. Uh, here. Okay. It was a very significant thing in my childhood. I told you, I, you know, I, I was going to be a doctor until I found out that you got paid in jelly beans. Hello from Russia. Oh my gosh. Wow. Thanks so much Hello for from joining Russia. us. That's awesome. And I saw somebody from, from Brazil. I know we have some people from the UK on here as well. We someone from so, Peru here. Peru. Um, thank you guys so much for, for joining in. Um, mm -hmm. Really. Uh, I mean, we're just having the best time. And I still am getting questions coming in too as well, which we were going to be answering. Um, and, you know, I, I'm very excited about all this. A question that did come in, and we, and we can dive into to some of these before we start just chatting about um, how India. significant and India, wow, DC, India. Bahamas, Argentina, wow. Canada. Wow. wow, you guys, wow. this is amazing. Do you have any, at, at, at Peru, there's Peru. There Anybody from the United States here? I don't yeah, see so everyone is from all around the world. Tokyo. Wow. This is the most international audience probably in a very, very long time I've seen. How, hello, Tuck. Argentina. Hello, are we Argentina. sure? Are we Bienvenidos. Because every single one right. is international. Wow. Another person from Argentina. Florida. <laughs> Florida. There it is. The all right. We got Florida. We're Florida. good. Florida. Florida. Rancho Cucamonga. That's, that's my neck of the woods, yeah, basically. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So that, that we're so glad to see this. Oh, yeah. Seriously, so glad. And, you know, <laughs> this, is, this is so much fun for us, too, because we get to share. And, Mom, you get, I mean, you get to share about something that was such a big part of your life for such a long time. But also, you know, really kind of diving into and, and maybe segueing into a little bit of the, the impact that um, this, you know, playing the role that you played. Um, uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but one of the first openly gay roles on television um, and just in the, in the climate, in the time that, that it was, and, and also, of course, we're, we're in this, you know, in um, Pride Month here and celebrating uh, all of the incredible LGBTQ community. You know, what was it like, I guess, at, at that time frame um, to be playing a, as significant of a role as that for people that, um, you know, were a part of that community that hadn't really give, been given the recognition that they really should have been given the entire time? What was that like to, to take on a role like that? Well, interestingly enough, I didn't really even think about that it would have any impact because I was in a blur of having just given birth to you. And so, <laughs> okay. um, yeah. and, and when okay. I, I asked if I could play this character, um, you know, after not being able to test for one of the main six, because I was pregnant for you, I asked if I could play the pregnant lesbian. And then they said the timing wouldn't work out. So when they offered the part of Carol to me after Anita Baran went her, her own way, I um, was in this hormonal blush and, and I always want everyone to know that it wasn't just the incredible pilot script that wowed me, but David Schwimmer, in that mm. pilot it was so incredibly brilliant that I absolutely had to work with him. He was so good. And everybody was, I just loved everybody, but I knew that my character would be playing with David Schwimmer. So I will be in all honesty. It didn't even, I, I didn't even think, Oh, you know, gay straight or anything like that. I just knew this was a great character with great people. And that's why I took it on now after, after we were on a bit, you know, I was only supposed to be on for two weeks. And Marta just told me recently, yeah, I was only, originally, this character was only supposed to be on for two weeks. They said, oh, you know, and I was like, oh, I'm kind of sore, just had a baby. Um, she came <laughs> home from the hospital. I'm yeah. like, no, no, we'll make it happen. And, and it's just going to be two weeks. So can you, do you think you could do two weeks? You can, you know, bring your nanny. Well, I don't have a nanny. I, I can bring my mom, maybe. Yep. And uh, they said, we'll make it totally easy for you. It'll just be two weeks. And that was, that was all I was signed on to do. And so Marta just told me that um, it was the one with the candy heart that they decided to bring me back more. So wow. just know that beyond my two weeks, 
the whole thing was icing. And I certainly didn't sign on to, to say, oh, I'll, you know, I, I will be at the forefront of helping a movement. Um, mm. But what we have found, and I talked to Jess this morning about this, what we have found is how deeply, deeply, deeply touched we are by about how much work needs to be done. Because for us, it was, mm. it was a no brainer. We didn't even think twice. This, was, this would be a great character to play, great, a great love story to play. And we didn't realize until we got to the one with the, with the wedding, the lesbian wedding, that um, what kind of impact the story was having, and at least America was, they tried to block us out. But that, again, how much work needed to be done and perhaps how much work we might be able to do in helping. So we began to travel around and doing the talk show circuit at that time and talking about it. And it was yeah. big. I, I don't know if you know about my story with grandpa. Do you know about my story with grandpa? Kate? I don't know if I do. I'd love well, to do hear you know, it though. Well, cause you know, my, my family, very conservative background, my, right. my dad, your grandpa Bill, was very, very uncomfortable by our storyline. And he would have Bible study at eight o'clock on Thursday nights, which was when the show aired. So, and he, and he'd invite all his friends at eight o'clock Bible study at his place. And so his friends could never watch the show. And then he wow. would never have to talk about it. And then I think finally my godfather sent him an article about how well friends was doing and the impact that our storyline was having, the positive impact our storyline was having um, mm. in the community, and so he, um, well, he finally understood that this was, <clears throat> and so yeah. his heart moved and opened and changed. So anyway, wow, that's I mean, talk about an incredible story, and um, you know, I've seen some. There's been some incredible messages that have come to me through Instagram and Facebook about the impact that has been made on people all around the world. I've gotten messages from India. I've gotten messages from Europe. I've had messages from, you know, the United States just saying that like that role that you and Auntie Jess played had, and uh, Susan, sorry, Auntie, it's Auntie Jess to me always, but, um, <laughs> okay, but she, that, played, she played Susan. Sure. She played Susan, but she's, she's Auntie Jess. Um, mm -hmm. But that role that, that you two played made such a huge impact on so many people, people that were struggling with themselves, with their own self image, with coming to terms with the fact that, um, you know, they, they did love somebody, um, but didn't feel like they were allowed to love somebody. Um, and just the role that you guys played, incredible. Um, honestly, seeing, just seeing those messages and I've seen some of the ones, I think you sent me one earlier today that was unbelievable about, um, I believe it was a young woman and I don't, I don't know where she was from, but um, just the struggle with coming to terms with the fact that she was bi. Mm -hmm. um, and, and really just, you know, not feeling like that was something that was okay, but then watching the show. And one of my favorite things about the show and, and you know, um, that's a whole other thing is, is I've had to do some catching up, right? Cause I, we didn't watch it growing up. We, could, <laughs> we, we didn't have TV in our house. We so. didn't. We but, didn't have tea, um, and, and I know you have to probably tell people that guy. We, yeah, <laughs> I do. We, I, had, we only had a monitor that we would watch movies on, but our kids didn't watch yep. TV growing up. Yep. But, you know, catching up because I'll tell you, I, and I have a story for you, mom, actually. I don't know if I've ever shared this with you. The first time that I realized how significant this role was, was I walked into the, ca the cafeteria at university. And I was looking at the TV in, in the cafeteria, I was eating my breakfast uh, on my way to baseball practice. And in walks mom on TV in the cafeteria at my university. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is actually a big thing. But that had a lot to do with the fact that we didn't grow up necessarily with television. But in the catching up that I've done, one of my favorite things that I've seen about the, the roles that you guys played is that it was just, it was so normal. It wasn't, it, I mean, aside from Ross, who, who being his best Ross sincere self, um, it was just such a, a normal thing. It wasn't perceived in any way. There wasn't any stigma around it. It was, you were who we were you were. We were just playing for love. You were just playing for love. And that was one of the most incredible things. And in, so in the spirit of this month, um, I really think it's an amazing thing to, to be able to chat about. And, and I'm sure you've seen probably an outpouring of love from, from people too in, in this month, especially, but just in general from the, the impact um, that that role has played for a lot of people. Um, yeah, I don't know if you have any stories of that, but. 
Oh, of course. I've had, I've had many people come up and, and express their gratitude for playing this character. And, you know, and I, and all I can say is I'm honored. I'm so honored. It was the best, it was the best run uh, of a job where I got to play with the most incredibly talented, the most incredibly generous, the most magnanimous group of actors and writers and producers. I mean, highest benchmark in in all my career. And so it kind of, it kind of, you know, look, I've been on some great sets, great directors, great everybody, but this magic bubble of doing it for love and doing it for all for one and one for all and the way that everybody interacted and the way the producers showed such incredible respect for the actors and the collab the creative collaboration it really really changed everything for me and i i i, I looked around and i thought wow i wish every set could be like this because there can be competition you i have worked some real jerks in my life and they tried to be kind about it mm -hmm. You know, do my best and just keep my head down. But this friends was so, 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 so special. So I just, I feel only honored. And in terms of the LGBTQ community, again, it has been my honor. I, I, um, I wish Jess and I both wish we could do <clears throat> more in our humble way. I mean, we, we were only on, or I was only on 15 episodes. It wasn't very much, but if there was something I could do from my mama heart, I would like to make sure that everybody knows that mm -hmm. got you back. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah. That's, that's something that I can always say is that, you know, our family has always been a really, really safe space for anybody and, and anyone to come. And, and I just, I mean, for, for the people that are on right now too. Um, and thank you for, for joining us uh, as we kind of celebrate pride and the friends reunion and everything that's been going on. If you do have any stories or messages or anything that has been impactful in your life and you need a place to go and you need a place to share, we're both always open to, to those conversations and, and being there and, and hearing your stories and um, <clears throat> just the outpouring of, of love from everybody all over has been incredible. Um, <laughs> Mom, people love your voice. You have an amazing voice, Mom, by the way, just so you know. I don't so, know about um, that. <clears throat> I, there's, a, there's a casting director who sometimes will follow me on, um, around and he's like, I always hated your voice, Sibbit. Never wanted to cast you because your voice. I, <laughs> I, I can change my voice. I'm an actress. I can do that. I can speak a lower voice. <laughs> Doing what you can. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> so, Mom, there is something actually, though, that I've kind of wanted to ask for a little bit. And mm -hmm. I got to experience something with you one time um, a while back. And it was with uh, Maggie Wheeler um, yes. a long time ago. And, um, and Maggie was phenomenal on the show as well. Um, she's amazing and a, a dear friend. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Dear Brilliant. Friend. Oh my gosh. That laugh every single time gets me. I can't, I just, I lose it. But, um, uh, you know, something that, that I think kind of goes hand in hand with this and, and kind of talking about if people need to reach out and, and chat um, is the 1736 Family Crisis Center. Mm -hmm. um, and you've done some amazing work with them. Do you think that there's any... Um, like any symbiosis or, or was there kind of a, a culmination of the work that you did with friends into moving into 1736 or has that, and, and if you'd be open to sharing a little bit about the work that you've done with them and, and what that center does. Um, but it's something that I wanted to ask because I felt like that role that you played plus the, the hosting that you've done with 1736 and just everything that you've done to contribute to that um, center has been amazing. Do you, was there any sort of like a combination of the two where the paths crossed because of the work that you did in Friends that it made sense for you to also be working mm. with? You know, it's interesting because I, I guess I can talk about this a little bit more freely right now. It was, it was a little secret how I got into 1736, only in that, um, I think I can talk about this. The CEO of 1736, her daughter attended the same school that you did. And she approached me because her daughter was a huge Friends fan. And then she, and when she told me, I said, well, what do you do? And so she began to open up 1736 at that time, had nine shelters for uh, survivors, uh, women and children of intimate violence. Um, they were working toward, and they have now a shelter also for teenage 
uh, teenagers mm -hmm. on the street, as well as vets, veterans that are undergoing P PTSD or extra stresses. So they have mm -hmm. um, all throughout LA County. And so here we were in Hawaii, but she was talking to me about this. And I said, oh, that's really interesting. I'm a survivor. My hair is really messed up. <sighs> Perfect. Um, I'm a survivor of intimate violence also. <clears throat> And I, you know, Kai, I, I've always tried to kind of just keep the lighter part of that story away from you all. But this is also why I was very happy that you and your eldest sister got your black belts because I am yeah. a survivor of intimate violence and he's still alive and he's still out there and he's still mm. unchecked and he, I couldn't get the, you know, to, to come to trial. So um, the work that I did and still do with 1736 was really important for me to give back to this organization who works tirelessly to help with um, child trafficking as well as intimate violence um, and getting women and children and, and teens back on their feet. I know that there are survivors of intimate violence with men also, but this shelter has been primarily for women, children, teens and then of course the vets so um anyway this is how it started so we our connection she approached me because her daughter was a fan of friends but we became mm. we bonded over the fact that um i was a survivor <clears throat> and i was so incredibly helped by another organization in los angeles that helped me through with therapy etc that i wanted to give to this organization i i paid it forward so that's, that's how amazing. we did it. And I saw so I directed PSAs for them. I'm going to be directing some more with them soon. And I brought together some of my friends, including Maggie Wheeler, uh, uh, for a, um, a benefit. And we all um, read monologues and, and danced and the whole thing for the 1736 Family Crisis Center. That's awesome. That's and awesome. yeah, I, I always kind of, I wanted to know just about that that journey for you because I knew bits and pieces of the puzzle, but I've always wanted to ask. Um, and, you know, in terms of the things that you learned about yourself in the role that, that you're in for, for, you know, playing Carol and, and yeah. were, were there things that you learned about yourself in the playing of that role that kind of contributed to, you know, who you are today and the direction that you feel like you've taken your life in mom, or do you feel like those things were already kind of under the surface you knew and you just brought them forward for that role? Are you talking to, you're talking about for my role on Friends? Yeah. What was me? <laughs> Again, I was in a milky haze. This is why when people say you're so funny on Friends, like, no, I was completely oh in a milky haze the entire time. Um, <laughs> for all of those seven years that I came in and out of, I was pretty much nursing or pregnant with Violet and then nursing again. So I was in a milky haze. Um, so I, I brought my, my milky brass forward, Kai Gaines, actually. I actually, okay. um. <laughs> okay, that's not, no, but, but Kai, you know, you know that story, right? Did you know this? Which? The, the, the one with the breast milk. Did you ever watch that episode? Yeah, I'm sure that I did. But I'm not going to freeze one? you on it, Kai, because I know you didn't have a television growing up. I deprived you of friends as a child. But um, the, one, the one with the breast milk episode. Oh, I do know that one where they, yes, I do know that one. Where, and then, and, and what happened was I asked Marta and then I asked the mother yep. of, the, of the tw twins, triplets. It's actually three babies, but we used the two blonde ones. Um, yep. If they would allow me to try to use, to nurse the baby in the episode because we thought that would be real. <laughs> And the mom's like, sure, you can try. And, um, and, and do you know the story? <laughs> if you go I you don't know the story. I do know this episode, though, which is, I mean. Yeah. If you <laughs> slow it down, I've actually seen, someone had done a meme on it, and you kind of see a little bit too much of what I'm talking about here. But the funny part is, is, you know, I'm just, I'm, you know, when you're, when you're nursing and nursing, if there's any nursing people out there that watch us, when you're nursing, you just, you're used to just whipping up a shirt and putting the baby on. And Kai, it's because of your voracious need um, to, to eat, be nourished. I have plenty. Oh, no. so, oh, dear. so in the episode <laughs> in front of the entire audience of 200 some odd people, of course, I lift up. The baby's like, what the heck? And Matt Perry's like, what? <laughs> you know, you can see his face like, Sibbit, what, what are you doing? 
<laughs> and the baby <laughs> wanted nothing. So bring in the next baby. The baby uh -huh. wanted nothing. These babies were bottle fed, so they had no idea what yeah. to do with that. And so that's my little one with the breast milk. So yes, I wow. used my own milk high for wow. to be to be Carol. <laughs> if I look extra red, it's because I am. Um, yeah, it could be the filter. <laughs> it's the filter. That's it's definitely. 100% this filter. It gives me a, a little bit more of a red tone than I actually have. <laughs> I have the shadow <laughs> filters for some reason. I can't get out yeah. of the shadow. But anyway, here we are. Right. <laughs> it's okay, right. Kageens. I'm glad you blush like your mama. That's a good Oh, absolutely. Thing. Yeah, oh. no, 100%. That's, that I is that. I didn't know that. You know, it's, it's really interesting. Um, apparently, I look like you. So, um, say? yeah, I don't. I always thought yeah. you looked like your dad. I get I that. You though. When, like your handsome dad. I feel like it's a bit of both. I really do. I feel like it's a good combination. Not my coloring. Of your hair is a little higher. But... It's a little bit higher. We can. <laughs> I just. You can push it down. It's a, that's not my best look, though. I no, but you've got your dad's nice deep set eyes. You've got his coloring eyes, but you've got my fair skin. And you used to have my blondy hair, but my hair is good looking like your hair now. It's getting Except a little bit darker. I know it's. Here. It's not that there's not a bald spot. This is the blood spot since I whacked my head. So that's why my hair looks so awesome today. Is because I'm matted blood hair, which I'm okay. Don't. See. I'm I know. Okay. I was so. I was. I was worried when you were like, "I have matted blood behind my head." I was like, "Are you okay?" Um, okay. Yeah. And and uh, actually, so um, somebody <laughs> asked. By the yes. way, mom, this is a, a totally random question. I mean, and I can Go answer this one. Do you, you know, do you like Jennifer Aniston? And the answer is absolutely I yes. Love, I love, 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 love. I, love of course Jennifer. I do. Of course oh my I gosh. do. Brilliant. Beautiful, um, wonderful, talented. No one could play that part. There's no, literally, if I had been, I had not been pregnant, <laughs> And she and I read for it. She would have gotten it hands down, for goodness sake. She's oh my gosh. incredibly talented, she's so brilliant. beautiful. And I am yep. just, I love everything she's ever done in her yeah. life, but particularly with her. So yeah. I love her. Um, I love everybody. I mean, everybody on that show was amazing. I have no dirt yep. and I wouldn't, you know, I, I have, people are always like, come on, tell me some, there's no scuttlebutt. I yep. just love them all. When it, I mean, when it really boils down to it, from everything that I've heard from you, um, even throughout the years growing up, just about your experience on that show, yeah. every single person, every single cast member, I, I haven't, I, you know, and I mean, we could talk about it, like, you, you know, when you come home from work and you share how your day was and you're like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, <laughs> J uh, Jake, I don't know, any random name, Jack, whatever, was, was so rude today. Nothing, none, none of that. And nobody, every single person and every story that I have ever heard that you brought home from the set was nothing but amazing. Um, and I always loved hearing those stories too when you came home. That was actually a big part of, you know, just wanting to to be around that environment and growing up around that environment. That was actually- one, a, one of the... I always knew you were an actor, Kai Gaines, but I had to like, <laughs> shh, Well, and you know, you wanted to be an actor since you were a little guy and and they plucked you from the playground and wanted you to be in Baby Geniuses. I'm like, uh-uh. I, I, I collected a lot of cards for you, Kai Gaines, and said, thank you so much. I'll, he can call you when he's 18. I didn't want you to be a, a wounded child. Oh, sorry. So do you, um, you still have those cards, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was you like, oh, he knows. He's on to me now. I, yeah, you know, you. I also had the pleasure of working with a lot of children and it's a tough life for kids to grow up around that. So that's why one of the reasons why your dad and I moved yeah. to Hawaii with you yeah. and your sisters is because we just wanted you to have a little normal life. So mm -hmm. that's all. Cause, cause growing up with you as my mom and dad as my dad was, Very was a normal, normal life. Super normal. <laughs> <laughs> we, I think as soon as I popped out of the womb, it was done. Uh, there was no chance yeah, to be I, Well, you were on every set. It's true. But when you started to figure out and you liked those red carpets a little too much, then it was time for us to go. And, Cause we, we did, when we lived on a ranch, we tried not to have you guys uh -huh. exposed to that stuff. But every once in a while, yeah, you kind of went to those fun things. It was okay. Yeah. But, 
Yeah, no, and and I will I will say that you know um, one of the things that I always talk about that I'm incredibly grateful for is the lifestyle that we had growing up. And um, you know there there have been a couple of questions, and and I'm reading through some of them as we go, and, okay. and just kind of filtering through, just so so you're aware. Um, some of these are are people have asked these questions, and I'm I'm posing them, you know, but um, I'm not reading anybody's names. So you know, listen for your question. They're they're coming through, but. Um, <laughs> one, I, you know, one of the things though that I loved about growing up on the ranch and that I talk about all the time was that lifestyle and having you and dad be there and be present in our lives. So it was one of the most incredible blessings. Um, and so yeah, I always hated it when you left. Uh, to that was go horrible over. for me too. <laughs> it was the well, worst. I mostly dragged you around, but do you remember that <laughs> one time that we talked about that was really hard for me? I cried all the way to the airport. Did you, you know the story? I, with the roller skates. Was it with the roller skates? Blades. Yeah, but blades. With blades. Mm -hmm. But the two kinds of blades. Do you remember what the first kind was? What you and Ruby did? Mm -hmm. So oh I'm getting God. ready. Yeah. yeah. Only yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I, oh, no. I think Ruby was three and you were one. Oh, no, you could walk. So you must have been two and Ruby was four. And all of a sudden, you come out and all your curl, your blonde curls are gone. And the car literally oh, is pulled no. up to take me to the airport to go off to Budapest for a month to do a movie. Yep. And then you guys were going to meet me. It's the longest time I'd ever been away. And you come out without, without your blonde curls. And I was like, what happened? And I didn't even notice that your sister, whose hair had been down past her booty, was like jam, jam, cut, cut, cut everywhere, all over the place. And I'm like, right before I, and I have to catch my plane, and, and, and there's nothing I could do but cry and hug you and say I love you. And you went, you went oh, no. running on your rollerblades in the driveway <laughs> into the into the limousine, like I'm coming with you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And it was horrible. I had to pull you out of the car, hand you to grandma and to dad. It was horrible. It was horrible, horrible, horrible. Yeah, that, but grandma's never, there, so it's fine. Yeah, I never liked leaving you. I never know. liked leaving. You. However, <laughs> on on the flip side, though, I, um, I mean, I know you never liked leaving us, but one of the questions that I did get that came through, um, and I'm sure this kind of balanced it out a little bit. I would love to hear what was the best part about filming, or while you were filming, what was the best part about that experience? I one of the best parts was that I got, I'd always bring my my family. So wherever I was, you all, I dragged you all to the set. That was fun. And yeah. I was always working on really family friendly sets. That was great. Okay. So the best part of my work in general, is that what the question is, Craig? Yeah. 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 What was, yeah. Verbatim. What was the best part while filming? But um, overall, you know, while you were, while you're taping or on set, what was the best experience that you had while you're doing that? I didn't have to be me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it goes, it goes, it, this goes back to the shy girl that I wasn't comfortable in my own skin. And so I love playing dress up. I love playing make believe. That was so much fun. And I've been so, I've been so greatly blessed. And, and again, back to friends has given me so many beautiful jobs just because I was on friends mm -hmm. for that little bubble of beautiful time. Yeah. We've had such a blessing of being able to, to travel, but also to do what I love. I love acting. It's, it's magic because you are with your audience and, and the writers and the producers and all the creators and all the designers are together making this whole new universe together. And by the audience buying into it and these guys and their, their beautiful designs and the way they like you, it is the most magical, truly magical a way of living when you can see that and that i'm really grateful i had this incredible mentor jenny penny roundtree mm. who taught us the magic and you know, the way that i learned was that we had to when i went to ucla we had to learn how to design the set we had to learn how to sell the tickets and usher and light and and paint the sets and build the props and all those things and so i i learned and this is why i'm so grateful for what you're doing kai as you're learning all the different yeah. elements of it so that you can be a better actor and you can be a better person, have greater appreciation. Because goodness knows we don't need any more jerks in this world. We need good people right. and people that like to work together and like to play for fun.
you know, for absolutely. Living. No, a hundred percent. Um, and I, I second all of that actually that, you know, um, you know, working behind the scenes or, or stage managing for the, the digital red carpet was such a huge blessing for me to be able to work with all the amazing creators that came on to work with you. I easily, my, you're my favorite cast member mm -hmm. from friends. I'm a little bit biased, but, um, you're my favorite <laughs> cast member. Uh, I wouldn't be here without you shockingly. So, you know, um, but just, just in general, you know, the, the whole experience of working with such incredible, you know, people that the overall, um, environment and being behind the scenes, seeing the amount of work yeah, that goes into work. production is an incredible amount of work. And so the respect that you have when you work behind the scenes, when you work yeah. behind the scenes and you see the amount of effort that people put into making a project, yeah. oh my gosh, like it makes you want to sit through all of the credits just so you can pay your respect yeah. to every single person. And, and this that, is why when you go to the movies with me, we yep, stay to the very all end. All the time. The very we end. Go, we want to see all that went into it and just like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey Kai, and I you know, got a big shout out to Absolute Live Productions too for creating such a great streaming. That was so awesome to do that. HBO Max yeah. and all of that, but Absolutely. I just want to say a shout out to Dave Rosen and his amazing team and hiring you to be the stage manager. It's awesome. I'm <laughs> well, you know, um, they really, what I can say, and from all of the experience that I've had with them and, and the work that has gone into just every single production is, um, I mean, bar none, the, the amount of effort that people go to to make sure that it goes smoothly and the amount of factors that go into making a production go smoothly it's a would lot. blow your mind. It is a lot. And so for anybody that's out there that doesn't really know all of the effort that goes into it, there are some amazing documentaries out there that, that talk about all that. I'm not going to name any, but, you know, take a look at the amount of work that goes into making a production. And it's incredible. It's, it's pretty mind blowing. Um, so, you know, mom, one thing that I do want to touch on is, is working with you since you, you brought this up, but working with you was one of the best, especially coming out of COVID and, you know, everything, one of the best experiences for me to work with you um, and to just, I mean, from the bottom of my heart, what a blessing to be able to work with you, to be able to be there, to, to set up your trailer and have jelly beans and flowers in there. Oh, um, you're me cry. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was amazing. I, and, and yeah, you know. I feel the same way. I really, and you know how I've been in this <clears throat> heart. Sorry, I've got to tickle my throat. I'm not crying. <laughs> it's just my throat crying. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> my eyes aren't leaking. <clears throat> to come out of my hardcore bubble because of taking care of grandma and yeah. to finally be able to hug you after all this time, it was so important to me. I think this is why the reunion was um, such a gift also for so many of us to remember that golden time when we were all much more lighthearted yeah. and, and healthy and um, we weren't worried for our friends or our family and we were seeing our friends. We were living a normal life. And so I think that's another reason why um, the yep. whole reunion experience was, um, was so special, was so very special. Should we, should we do the elephant in the room? Cause I see it sure. coming up on the screen. Uh, yes. If you would like to, um, that's, do, that's totally. Do you know which, do you know which elephant I'm talking about? I mean, I've seen a couple of elephants pop up on the screen. Um, <laughs> Someone throw an elephant in the chat so that that can be real. Um, I'm, hi, Sarah, by the way. It takes a village. Love to see you on here. Oh, my gosh. Um, so nice to see you hopping on. But, um, yeah, Mom, if you want to chat about that a little bit. Well, so uh, more than a few people have been writing me, been sending me DMs. And um, can I say that? Is that is that okay yeah, to say yeah, DM? Yeah. I can just say direct message. Ben, I but think we know. What, am what I DMs aging are. myself? <laughs> No, James, James is, I mean, if you said direct message, maybe a little bit. Thank you, Jason, for this. <laughs> I want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, no. You can say DM. Yeah. So, so let's just talk about the elephant in the room. Um, why wasn't I at the reunion? And I, I actually called Auntie Jess this morning to just double check. Because I because I had read this article about that. Oh yeah, we we tried to we, we invited everybody, or a lot of people couldn't come, and all this good stuff. Truth, um, we weren't invited, and for whatever reason that was, um, we don't know. But 
I watched the show, Jess is shooting in Nova Scotia. She was shooting, so she hasn't seen it yet. Um, but we weren't invited. And so <laughs> for those who, who asked me like, why weren't you there? Why weren't we represented the LGBTQ community? Some of the people were, were sad about that. And I, I understand, I was sad too. We would have loved to, had we been invited, we absolutely would have shown up, but we weren't. They decided to go another way for whatever reason. And I loved everything about that show. I just have to yeah. reiterate that I, as you know, Kai, we sat together and watched it and I cried a yeah. lot during so the much. show because it brought back I so many- I just kept many... the tissues just- I know, it's true. <laughs> it brought back so many beautiful, beautiful memories. Yeah. And uh, many memories, of course, that you didn't see there. So I just yeah. want everyone to know that I just, I bless what they did. I will always be grateful. Yep. And, um, and that's yeah. it. I mean, there's no, no I, I don't have any scuttlebutt. There's, as totally. far as I know, I'm in good standing with my friends. I don't know. Maybe I've said something. I, I, can I just say one thing? Because the next day, oh, Kai, you stayed up with me for that interview. I, I did, did an interview recently. And yeah. they wanted to go to the gossip piece because they didn't mm. know what else to do. They went to the gossip piece about, you know, about, um, David and and Jen having crush on each other back then. And she yeah. was very above board and she asked the question, did you sense any chemistry? I'm like, yes, of course, okay, Every, who, who wouldn't sense chemistry? But everybody has chemistry, that's our job. And if right. we don't have chemistry, we're fired. Of course, they confessed that they had a little more than just basic chemistry. Did I know that? I didn't know anything extra. All I knew was they were amazing and whatever it took for them to make that, bless them because look what that series did. So Absolutely. I feel really bad that what they, what in this interview that I did, that they twisted it through adjectives in, if you look at press, there's something, you know, this, I will, I don't want to even um, honor the name of this organization that is sending it out to their syndicate but they're trying to create division where there is no division. Mm. This group Great. loves each other. Every this, the six love each other. Yep. The eight of us love each other. The nine, the 10, the, let me just keep going out. Yeah. I have nothing bad to say about anybody on this show or anything that we've done. I thought the reunion was beautiful. I thought it yep. came from the heart. And I was so happy to see Maggie there. I was happy to see the, the parents. You know, I was happy to see everyone. <laughs> it was a beautiful, beautiful show. So that's yes. all I got to say about that. I just want to clear the slide on that one because I know that um, people are, have been feeling bad and they've been reaching out and I yeah. don't want to disappoint them. I don't want, I don't want to have my written texted words misconstrued. Sure. Um, I just want to have blessings. So, <clears throat> okay. Absolutely. And, you know, I think um, just to kind of add on to, to what you said a little bit, mom, that, you know, the, the creative decisions that everybody from, from the creative team and show for, had, that they've made creatively, they have made some of the best decisions as far as television production has gone. And so whatever those decisions were, we might not know the answer to those, but right. we always will respect and honor those decisions that they make. Um, you know, we've, there's, there's been a number of things that, that you and I have discussed um you know as far as especially you and i working together in the future which i mean we won't go too much into that um uh, we don't want to you know give too much away but um you know with with all of the potential work that we're doing together in the future not to give too much away um <laughs> uh that we always respect and, and love um and appreciate all of the wishes and the insight that everybody on the creative team has from mm -hmm. from that show and, and the decisions that they've made and we respect and, and honor and love all of those decisions because yeah. they've done an incredible job um and so definitely i mean that that for me um with with you and i i guess i mean um i know that working together for for both you and i has been probably the highlight especially for this last year <laughs> um I, you know moving forward and, and doing more um you know, I'm not saying that we are, I'm not saying that we aren't doing something together, but I would love to hear for, for people that are we watching. We better be doing now. something together. I wouldn't be spending all this time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, come on, we, I, okay. my dreams, well, I, cats, I, cats I always want to be working with talented, dear, generous, loving souls. So I pray that we have the angels surrounding all of our work. So that's all I can say. Okay. Yep.
Absolutely. <laughs> and that's, that's all I will say on that as well. Okay. Um, but we're, we're super excited for everything that the future holds. Um, there's a lot of amazing things in the works and just can't wait to see where, where things go from here. Um, so, Mom, we do have a couple of questions. How about the 500, the rapid ones? The, we, can, we can dive into this if you would like to. I, I mean, you know, throw some hearts in the chat, guys, if you want to go through all of these questions. There's a lot. <laughs> I'm on my computer, like, scrolling through this. And, um, <clears throat> let's see. Okay. I sent them all to um, yeah, I got, I got so, all, of, all the questions. So many questions. You guys are amazing. Um, and Hi, Joey. I see Joey out there, too. Oh, my Hi. gosh. Hello. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Um, we, I mean, we answered a lot of these too. Has it been hard to be a mother? Uh, to me, especially, oh my gosh, has it been hard to be a mother? Uh, so I've been, I've had the dream children of all dream children. And your dad and I were absolutely aligned with how we wanted you raised. I have yeah. been so blessed. You guys all came out. Okay, you were really busy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed. You were so busy as a baby boy. You were just, I had never been skinnier in my life because I was nursing you and chasing you <laughs> everywhere. But that Lots of cardio. A lot of cardio. <laughs> that was great. I love being oh, a mother. That, awesome. was, that truly is my favorite role of all time to be your mom and Violet and Ruby's mom. It's been the greatest gift. Mm. And I, I mean... It's been an incredible gift to, to be your son. So I know that maybe, um, you know, just I, growing up, like I've said a couple of times throughout this for everybody that, that is joining, the, the lifestyle that we had and having you and dad around was always one of the greatest blessings. So um, okay, was it hard having me as your mom? <laughs> That's no, not at all. It was probably the easiest thing. But the hard part was. Are you sure? Yes, kind of very sometimes. sure. Okay. Tough, but but um, standards. It was it, there was high standards, etiquette because you never know if you might have dinner with the queen one day. Um, right. You just don't, and that was always the thing, right? We would, we'd be at the dinner or table, prince. And, Harry or and Prince, Megan or and some Megan, and yeah, exactly. So you you just never know. Um, <laughs> but that was always the thing: is is the standards that you held us to when we were younger was a little more challenging, but I could not be more grateful for those standards today. We would always have dinner at the dinner table, you know, except for the rare occasion we would have movie night together as a family. But those things were, were high standards for sure. Um, but at always the same time, grace. Mm -hmm. always said grace every single time. Always but that, candles. Always candles, grace, clean up the dishes. I would go to the bathroom, obligatory bathroom break right after dinner. <laughs> Some of the dishes. Yeah, you didn't have to do the dishes. Um, but we also shared what was important to us every day, too. And we also, absolutely. because you also had amazing teachers all around, yeah. we're so blessed by all the teachers that helped raise you and our amazing nannies. Cause, because yeah. obviously when you're working as much as I was blessed to work, we had to have incredible help. And yeah. you had, a, you know, just the goddesses of all goddesses. Um, yeah. But... but but I really appreciated that you also spent every single day from middle school on making great intentions for your day and intending mm -hmm. joy or play or, you know, something fun. All right. Right. I digress. Absolutely. That question was for you. Oh yeah. No, it, um, it was challenging in the sense that there was really high standards. It was not challenging in the sense that you and dad were the hands down most loving parents that anybody could have ever asked for. Um, there is no discipline that was ever handed out that I didn't deserve, I don't think. Um, you loved because... mucking those horses. You loved mucking those stalls <laughs> in the heat. Zero percent loved mucking stalls. There is no love for weeding mucking. Weeding the garden. You loved weeding that garden. I'm pretty sure I asked one time if, if you were actually my parents because that, <laughs> I was so upset about having to weed the garden. But that's I, I never actually doubted whether or not you were uh were my parents i just was really upset that i had been given that chore um and there was plenty trust me plenty of chores to do on the ranch but um i think that you know with with that and the standards that you guys held us to um i i hear all the time that you know my sisters are incredible and and just i mean um i think that you and dad were easily probably some of the best parents that i've ever seen examples of and so um difficult Sure, but then what in life is worthwhile but not? 
um, I think that the things that challenge you are the things that grow you. So <clears throat> just super grateful for, for all of that and, and for the experience that, that I had growing up. Um, so moving on to the next question, this one's pretty easy. I think I, I know the answer to this one actually. And, and I'm going to, I'm, if I can try and answer and then let me know. Yeah, the question is what is, what is our favorite food? Not, not mute, like together, but like, what is, what is your favorite food, mom? What is my favorite food? I what think I know it? the answer to that. I think it's, well, there's a, a little Thai restaurant somewhere along the coast. And I think Ooh. that's your favorite Colada. food from that. Yeah. 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 Colada on PCH in between Malibu and Topanga. Yeah. Or Topanga, Topanga oh my gosh. The <sighs> best. The best. We, and you always have to wait in line. That, that's the last always. place we ate out, isn't it, too? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yep. That was the last place that we ate out. And it was, it's amazing. That's one of my favorite places for sure. Um, incredible. I would say that that's up there. I can't pick. I love all food. That's literally the reason why I work out, mom, is so that I can eat what I want. That's, that's why I do this. It's, no. it's not for you a physique. Have, I do it so that I can feel guilt free. <laughs> all right, baby. Go. Next question. Next question. Okay, on to the next. Um, <laughs> this one's this one's actually, you know, you spoke with Auntie Jess today, but how are you? How how is Susan? How is Auntie Jess? How are you both? She's doing? fantastic. <clears throat> oh my gosh, she was she was she was such a good friend. She's not on social media at all, so she'll never see this. So I can talk in front of her back, and oh. nothing, nothing that I would say. She is so dear and so kind and so caring. And she was so upset that I was upset by how the press had, and it, believe me, it's stinky press. It's like high school stuff, but mm. how they had taken my story, my sweet story of love and celebration and me just really wanting to say such good things and give back and how they had twisted it and made it like, try to make something divisive out of it. And it makes me so mad because all I want my friends to know is how much I love them and how grateful I am for every single solitary yeah. one. So anyway, yeah. so she was, she's a very protective, Larry loving friend. And she's like, I wish we could live in the same town together. Mm. So, anyway, we have to watch I, her now. No, we haven't seen Auntie Justin some time. I would love to see her soon. Uh, we just saw um, her on the live stream. She was part of the pre-show. True. This is true. But it, you know, in different dynamic, of course, okay. right? I haven't seen yeah. Auntie Jess in person a long time. Um, okay, this one's actually a question for me, mom. Um, yeah. And it says, do you watch Friends? How do you feel when you see your mom performing her best in Friends? Oh. I, yes, I do watch Friends. Um, I've had a lot of catching up to do. Um, and I'm... <laughs> I, <laughs> if you're just joining this, I, I don't know if you are or not, but... That's you know, my son! Up, and he wasn't allowed to have watch Friends when he was growing up. That's my mom. I wasn't allowed to watch TV growing up. But we fixed that. <laughs> Not just Friends. It was everything. It was, it was across the board. I'm pretty sure That's I grew up with street. a t-shirt that said, dare to be free, turn off your TV. Um, you remember, we wore those t-shirts. Yeah, I do remember. <laughs> It's, and it's not that we didn't love TV. It's just that no, we, we were it. voracious readers and the school, the school that you guys went to was about developing the inner self before the television and, did. Exactly. I think that, and, and that's to, to definitely Hi. say that I mean, we love entertainment. Hello, also, welcome. We, <laughs> we love entertainment. We love television. We love storytelling. We love being a part of that and sharing that. And that's, you know, a big part of, of why uh, for me, at least, why I want to, you know, follow in your footsteps is is to be able to tell the kind of stories that you've told, Mom, where you have connected with so many people, and to be able to be that kind of example. And I mean, step out of myself right? and and step into another character that somebody can kind of latch onto and say, this is this is somebody that I can relate with. This is somebody that's going through relatable things. That this is the story, and and be able to tell that story and and be that example and and really be able to you know help people in their life through joy, through celebration, through story, through all of those elements. And so we love TV. I just didn't grow up with it. So I do watch Friends, um, and I love everything about the show. I, I lose it every single time. Um, there's so many parts that, especially watching you in the show mom it's it's there, there's a little bit of kind of avert your eyes almost sometimes because of you know it, you're my mom but um, the humor yeah. yes exactly that um part <laughs> however <laughs> the just the overall experience of watching you perform at your best is such a blessing oh my gosh um because i get to see you 
you know, em embodying everything that, that I would love to, to do as well myself. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, that was uh, watching the show, loving watching all of the episodes that you have been in um, and, and experiencing that has been a huge blessing for me too. Um, so somebody asked, and if you want to answer this, that's fine. I can answer this. Do you, ha uh, did you ever have a crush on any of the cast members from friends? Um, so I can answer this. I had a huge crush on my mom when I was a kid. Um, I, wanted... <laughs> you did not. That'd be weird. I wanted to marry. I would always say that I would, I wanted to marry you. When I was you did not. That would be weird. <laughs> did I say that? <laughs> All the time. No. Did I, I, is, so they were asking you that. Okay. I, I think it's just a general question that got tossed oh. out there. Did you ever have a question or a crush on any of the cast members from Friends? No, no. I, nope. I have, I've had crushes on co-stars before, but I didn't because I was nursing you. <laughs> um, no, I, I just, I, you know, it's just was pure, sincere adoration for their incredible talent. That's all. Mm. Yep. Absolutely. Um, okay. Wow. What, oh, here you go, here's a good one. What are the names of your dogs? And, and I know you only have one right now. I only have one right now. Dogs. Blue. Yeah, we've had a number Mr. of dogs throughout the years. Mr. Blue Skies, we, he's out for a walk right now because he's having zoomies, which is running. And he has. Running, 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 running. He's only five and a half months old, so, but 57 pounds. So he, when he has zoomies, it tears everything down. <laughs> right, right. He's, he's a big five and a half month year old yeah. dog with the most beautiful blue eyes. Um, but growing up, we had a number of dogs, Daisy, Lucky, Calgary, Wag, and they were all amazing, amazing yep. dogs. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, was it fun to be in Friends? Who did yes. you get to be best friends with in this, yes. uh, with, of the six main? Um, I can't even imagine that being part of the Friends cast was not the best and most fun experience. It was awesome. Like it was yeah. awesome. Jess, Jess and Maggie are my best friends from the show. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, tough question for you. Ross or Ross? That was a or capital Ross. R and a little R. Yeah. I think this might be a, a, a related to a... Trivia question. Uh-oh. Seriously, if that was an episode, I'm so sorry. I haven't really watched all of the episodes. So, and you know what's interesting? I, even watching the reunion, they haven't watched all of the episodes. The main six have. I mean, some of them, but there are some people. No, that, that I mean, Co Courtney confessed the same thing that she didn't watch the show. It's just you know, yep. it's like when you work in a restaurant, you don't necessarily eat there. But it is yeah. great to be, <laughs> you know, right? Right, totally. Well, you 100%. you did when you were working in a restaurant because your food, the food was so phenomenal. But I I didn't when I worked at the Red Onion. Um, I definitely. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I worked. <laughs> I have <laughs> taken care of myself in wonderful restaurants and not yeah, so good and, restaurants. <laughs> anyway. Know, uh, uh, highly yeah. recommend it for, for an experienced serving people to, to I mean, talk about it. If you're checking off all of the, the things that you need to do to be an actor, working <laughs> in a restaurant is one of them. So um, just in case you're wondering. But um, yeah. Okay. Ooh, go to on set snacks. I think we touched on this a little bit. I thought it was jelly beans because I thought you got paid in jelly beans. Uh, after every actually. single episode, there was a little bag of famous Amos chocolate chip cookies. I don't even know if they make those anymore. That was like my thing. Yeah. I hear the puppy squealing. Um, hey, Kai. Do want to do? Yeah. I just want to, I, I know we've been talking for, for an hour. We can still keep talking. I want to. I just want to say that I'm really so grateful to the people that have stayed on because I know this is a little bit of time. So this is the, I know people yes. will pop in and not as they need to, but, but I'm not going to rush. The puppy will, if the puppy comes in, the puppy comes in. Exactly. And yes, I mean, just to, to reiterate that for sure, everybody who's come in and, and stayed on and popped in and out. Thank you so much for, for just being here. Um, and um, so somebody asked, had, have you watched Friends during quarantine? Yes, that's yes. a lot of when I caught up on Friends was during quarantine because I had a lot of time to catch up because I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't doing anything. So that was a lot of actually kind of what helped me go through some of the quarantine was watching Friends for sure. Yes, yes, yes. I watched it too. Do you hear my puppy? I do. Do you want to see him? Or bring Hi, him? Blue. Do you want to gra grab Blue real quick? Yeah, literally, he will come in behind the screen and he will rip it down. Oh no! Okay, so then maybe I mean we can. We can <laughs> he like he will run. Hi, puppy. Start wrapping this up. There was a question. Uh, uh, sorry, a question that came in, um, and and this one, you know, I think probably was one of my favorite. But um, how did you? How would you describe the chemistry 
that you had with David while you were working together on Friends? Very, very Into professional. Oh my goodness. Oh, He's the, the, well, no, I mean, just the, what I played because he was so, he's so funny, but he's rooted in reality. Yep. So that beautiful face of his, and I, and you know, and in, in the one with the candy hearts, uh, I literally cried doing that because he was so like, oh my God, it just made, I, it's like, can we cry just even thinking about this when he was like, you know, reminding us how we were good together it just brought so much emotion up for me. I cried and then we had our sweet and beautiful and uh, and very, very sweaty kiss, which I always thought was a <laughs> sweaty kiss. By all these years, like, he was kind of sweaty. He wasn't sweaty. He had just had his mushroom stuck to his head with oil. So of course that was it. Oh no, oh no. Oh, All these years, gosh. I thought he was a little sweaty because you know I was I was in my That's milky funny. phase, and uh, no, he was just oily from that mushroom sticking to his forehead. So I, I would describe our chemistry as been for me profoundly a great fall because he was so beautiful. It was easy to love him and yeah. and um, and just be there for be be there yeah. in that moment to say I love you, but I love her was was mm. just it was delicious 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 amazing yeah no and and that's everything that i've heard about david too it's just the, the professionalism that he brings to the work that he does um on screen off screen across the board um i mean everybody from the, the from the cast has from what i have heard been incredible to work with on so many different levels and so um that's awesome and then you know um I feel like we have gone through a lot. Somebody asked, what's your new project? Um, and we can't talk about that too much, but uh, keep, I mean, stay in the loop. Stay, Just keep us stay in your prayers. <laughs> Just keep us in your prayers. Um, very, very excited for everything that's happening. Um, okay, uh, let's talk about hey. one memory. That, Look one memory that you, oh my gosh. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Welcome. <laughs> Um, a memory that you keep close to your heart from Friends, Mom. Is there anything that, that was a memory that you kind of keep close that was, that's a very treasured memory? Oh, there's so many, honey. So many, I'm sure. No, but really, really, the, the one that I, that, that really <laughs> speaks to what I believe is the reason that the sh show is so successful. Um, it speaks to what are the reasons why the show is successful, not the reason. Mm. is when when it was that with that first year maybe before it even aired maybe an episode or two had aired it quite hadn't quite hit yet and um and jen and lisa and courtney were splashing in a rain puddle outside of the soundstage no one else was around uh -huh. the big soundstage and i come around the corner and i see them splashing like children and i just went oh my god oh my gosh if they could capture that joy, it's lightning in a bottle, the show's gonna go, go, go. And mm. that's what it was like, it felt like every day for that, that they just wanted to play and be together and have the best time. And they did, huh? To great yeah. success, so. Yeah. And um, I know that we're, we're probably coming close to, to the end of our time here, Mom. Um, and I think that that's, if anything, one of the best questions to end on um, in that memory. And I think that one thing that I can say is that there are so many elements of that show that they were met, able to, to, and of that memory that you just talked about, that they were able to capture for the show. And they did such an incredible job capturing that chemistry um, mm -hmm. and the incredible work that every single person did. Um, and I just, I mean, from the bottom of my heart, um, would love to just say thank you for all of the work that you've done thank you for spending this time with me um, love you so much and i'm so excited that you know now that things are starting to open up and people are healthier and, and getting vaccinated and and we can be able to get together more um you know and maybe we'll be able to do something like this again soon but i hope so um, too hey kai also i yeah. just want to say that thank you for 
here um, work to try to get me verified on Instagram. I have no idea what to do. On this one. People <laughs> are working on that. And is it even important? Because I, I don't feel like I'm very popular. And it's okay. I Again, I am the wallflower forever. So I'm humble, 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 humble with this. But, but, but also, I'm going to do something on MathCast tomorrow. So anybody who didn't have their questions answered or wants to have some other questions answered, you can. Yeah. I will... I will post the links to that. I think I get a link to that tonight. You could ask some more questions. I can send you over there so you can um, see us then. Because this isn't, well, Kai and I are doing this, this mom and son um, yes. chat is really fun. I'd like to do this all the time, but um, <laughs> it is what we do. So if you had some, but maybe you will, um, <laughs> they could come over to the laugh cast if they want to come over. To yes, absolutely. Yeah. Definitely check out the live cast, check out mom's website, check out everything. Um, stay in the loop. We are, you know, looking forward to everything that's going on in the future and all the things that we will continue to do um, and working together. It's, it's always just such a joy. Um, anytime that I do get a chance to work with you, mom, and I continue looking forward to all of those opportunities. So stay Can you tuned. Have a picture? Oh yeah, absolutely. Wait, but I have all these words in front of my face. How do I get rid of those words? I'm having a mom, a 58 year old mom moment. Okay. How do I get rid of those? Or do we just, can you see all the words across my face too, honey? Absolutely. I see every word that I've been scrolling through these comments and and loving all of the comments that people are writing. Um, Hang on. Is that you that's pressing all those hearts, Kai Gaines? I'm the one that's pressing all the hearts. The entire time I've been the one pressing all the hearts, mom. <laughs> hey, sweetie pie. Wait, okay, so yes. we'll just take a picture and maybe we will have nice words in front of my face. Oh, wait, I swiped down. I, hang on, no. let's do this. I'll turn off commenting real quick. Let's see if okay, I Okay, do it. that. And there you go. Okay. Are words gone? Okay, smile, everybody smile. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Amazing. taking it? I did. I took a screenshot of oh, it and we can post it. I'll do another one though, just for good Were luck. My eyes open? Not... I don't know. They're probably close. That's a dad thing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've taken a couple. Okay, was I, I doing? Think was I doing your grandpa Bill smile? Because he does this little thing like this. He does do that. That was I, probably some of the best screenshots that I've ever taken. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> I love you, Bobby. I love you okay. too, mom. And uh, just want to say, well, I mean, one more time for everybody that did stay on and and, and watch this. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you for all of the love. Um, thank you, Hannah, for those screenshots. I'll see you soon. We're about to go. Um, I, actually, I can't say yet. You'll oh, see you, some, oh, some things okay, hi, that hi, Hannah hi. and I are about to do. Kai, don't forget it's yes. Ruby's birthday tomorrow. It's my sister's birthday tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Is that tomorrow? <laughs> it's in my calendar. It's in my calendar. It's fine. I get a notification. <laughs> it's her birthday Mom tomorrow. Noticed. Okay. <laughs> Mom noticed. Okay. Yeah, I needed that. Thank you, Mom. I appreciate it. I love <laughs> you, though, so much. And uh, for everyone who was on here, thank, thank you so much you. for joining us. That was thank so much you, fun. Thank you, darling. Thank you, everybody. All righty. Talk to you soon. Bye.